Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Brown and as you can tell we're doing a packing video today. I wanted to do it outside because I wanted to try out this new mic that I'm renting for a wedding video so I wanted to like play around with it. So I decided to film this one outside today. I'm going on a two night, three day hike so I thought I would show you guys what I'm packing. I already made a packing video like this last year when I went to Landslide Lake um, but since and I've gotten a whole bunch of new stuff, so I wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna do it in sections, and then I'll show you guys the new stuff first in each section. So first, let's do camping stuff. So the new things, I've gotten quite a lot of new camping gear. A lot of it's from birthday presents or Christmas, or things I just decided to buy myself. So let's start with the new things. First of all, I got a new sleeping bag. This is... Mech Delphinus Zero Degrees. Um, it's a mummy style. Yeah, I got this for my birthday from my sisters. And it's really nice because it's so small compared to my other one. Like my other one that Shayla and I shared, even when it was in the compression sack, compression sack, it was still like this big. I got this uh, Sea to Summit. Oh wait, I forgot I have that camera. Guys, we are in big production today. I got this Sea to Summit Ultra Silk Compression Dry Sack, which is awesome because this is a down sleeping bag, so I do not want it to get wet, and so I wanted one that was waterproof, so this this looks like it's gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna try and put it on right now. It's this nice green color, dark green, and then the light green at the top. I really like it. So I'm gonna try and shove it in here. Hopefully I got the right size. The guy said the small is probably fine. So, I hope so. I think this is the perfect size. Wow, the guy was right, wasn't he? They always get a little deformed when you do this. But like, oh my gosh, down compresses so tiny. This is amazing. Look at that. That's amazing. So there's the sleeping bag in the compression sack. The backpack I'm using. This is the same backpack from last time. It's the Deuter Air Contact 60 liter plus 10 liter. A goal that I have is I want to have all my sleeping stuff in this bottom compartment and then the rest can be for everything else because I feel like with my old sleeping bag and then my old sleeping pad, it took up this and then it took up half of the main compartment. So I bought a new sleeping pad, which is the Thermarest Neo Air. Now this thing was expensive and it was kind of impulsive of me to buy this. Um, but whatever it's in the past, it's a blow up air mattress mummy style. It's um, the regular size, I believe, but it's tiny in comparison to my other one. This is my old one. This is the new one. So it is extremely small. And as you can see, this plus that sleeping bag would just not fit in there. This would just fit in there by itself. So now I can put the sleeping bag, can put it even sideways, and my sleeping pad, and there's still tons of room in there. Like actually tons. What else is new? I got this a while ago, this. I got this when I got my sleeping bag because it's a silk liner for a sleeping bag. Because my sleeping bag is down, I, I just don't want to wreck it. So I wanted to get this liner that you just put inside. It's like a sheet that you put inside your sleeping bag. I've used it once and it was fine. I think it was fine. I, yeah, I've only really used it once, so I don't have a ton of opinions on it right now, but um, yeah, Sea to Summit silk liner um, with comfort stretch panels with a hood. So that's what it looks like. I can even shove that in there. <laughs> so continuing on with my new camping gear, um, the other day when I balled out at Robinson's, I got a headlamp. I've never had my own headlamp. I've always had to borrow people's and 
last time I went to Sombrio, everyone had their own headlamps, and I was like, why don't I have my own headlamp? And they're just so handy, so um, I just bought this one. It's the Pretzel Tequina, 250 lumens. It's nothing crazy, it was it was $25. Yeah, it just it's just regular. I'm gonna unbox this if I can. <laughs> Ow, oh my god. Just broke all the plastic off. Uh-oh. Hopefully the dog doesn't get that. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so awesome, new headlamp. Another new thing I got is this reservoir bladder. This was pretty expensive actually. There was a cheaper one, but then Shayla convinced me this one would be better because she wanted one too, so this is what we got. So I haven't opened this, obviously I haven't opened this, but um, what's good about it? Here, why don't I open it? Okay. So here it is, it's three liters. The good thing about it compared to the other ones is it has this hard back panel. So if you wanted to use it to cook with it, you can easily hold it as opposed to if it was just all this plasticky material, it would just flop everywhere. So she said that's good about that. And then she said it's also good because it has this magnetic clip that you can clip onto your strap and then the magnet on the lip thing will just magnetize to it. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've never used one of these or had one of these. So I'm so excited to try it. What else do we got? Okay, so then for Christmas, I got this first aid kit. It's the Adventure Medical Kits Mountain Series. Uh, two people for two days, hiker edition. Um, I honestly haven't really looked in here. I haven't even used it, but it has all these wound care, burns, blister, cut scrapes, medication, stop bleeding fast. So it, it tells you where to go and has all the zippers so nothing gets loose. That's a Christmas present. Oh yeah, okay, this, this is so exciting, you guys. This I got off Amazon, it's called Trekology. It's a camping chair, lightweight, it's two pounds. And Shayla has one and I brought it to Sombrio and it was the best thing ever. Like, it's so awesome. And so right after that, I was like, I need this. Um, so then it goes like that and then you get the chair part. Ow. And this is like 50 bucks, two pounds. It's like pretty light. I'm just gonna attach it around the outside of my bag. I won't put it inside. And it's even got like drink holders, little pockets. Oh, and the backrest. Wow. Am I in the frame if I sit up here? I wanna just sit in this, my back's hurting. So yeah, this chair, I'm definitely gonna bring. It's like, actually, it's luxury, but like when you're hiking, the worst part is sitting on like a log or sitting on, a, on the ground, on tarps. So I'm so stoked on this. So there's that. And then the, um, the haul of camping gear continues. I got this water filter and these are really expensive, $120. But the reason I got this was because I've wanted it for so long. I've actually, I've wanted it ever since I planned to go to South America. I was like, I need this because it, it's a water filter and a water bottle. And so when you're traveling, okay, I love things that go two in one or that are compact. Like the fact that I'm fitting all my sleeping gear in this bottom part with extra room is just the best thing ever to me. It's the most satisfying thing. Like I will spend an extra $200 on things just so they can be smaller. And especially for like traveling, like 
I want to, I'm a, not a minimalist, so I want to bring everything. And the only way I can bring everything is if the things I bring are like multi-purpose or useful. So this, water filter and a water bottle all in one. It's the only one that filters out viruses. And yeah, the only bad thing about this is there's a car cartridge in there and you have to replace it one every 250 liters per cartridge. Yeah, whereas the other ones, like the pumps, those are a thousand liters per per filter. So this one, you have to change it four more times compared to the other one. Geopress, or a Grail Geopress, and how it works is, so, here we have the filter. See the orange part is the cartridge. God, am I gonna be in this shot? Sitting up here? Well, I guess we will just have to wait and see. So I'm about that much higher. I think it's fine. I had to move that camera back because honestly I think I was out of the frame up here. Didn't really think that through. So sorry if part of that was a bit weird. Um, this is my first time filming with two cameras. It's actually so fun. So anyways, here is the filter. And what you do is you put the water in this, put this on top and it's got like this seal. And then you just push down and it'll filter all the water up into this area now. And you have free flowing water. It's so handy. I think that's all for my new camping gear. So I'm gonna just quickly put the, that in my in my backpack. We'll see how much I can fit down here. Let's just put in this stuff. So I'm gonna put in my pillow. Oh my God, wow, you guys. I actually just can't even get over that. Uh, I'm gonna put in my first aid kit. I can fit that down there. Oh, my, my pans, my pots and stuff. Another camping, and this, I forgot two things. So I've had these for a while. You guys have seen me use these. Brought them to Salt Spring and Landslide Lake. It's just one of those uh, X plates from Sea to Summit. Yeah, a plate. And then this little kit has uh, a spork, a bowl. The whole thing can be used as a bowl. This can be used as a plate. There's a cutting board slash strainer. There's a mug. Yeah, there's all that goes in there. So my kitchen supplies. I'm borrowing Emerson's stove again, so I gotta go pick that up today. And, and then my pack towel. So this is just a microfiber towel that I swear by. Love this. Um, so I'm gonna put that down here. I can't believe that all fits in there. I actually am shook because before only my sleeping bag would fit down there. Wow, I could bring, I could bring so much stuff. I also have some bear spray. I got this little pocket knife thing, Leatherman uh, little knife that I just keep in my front uh, hip pocket. Oh, and there's even a bottle opener, oh my god. Knife, bear spray, headlamp. That's probably all stuff I'll put at the top, so I'm gonna leave that out now. How about we do clothes? Let's do clothes. So I don't have any new clothes except for these two new pairs of socks. They're the, this one is Smart Wool Hike. Um, they're just longer ones. Honestly, I just like these to wear around. Uh, yeah, but these ones apparently are really good. They're right sock, lightweight, double layer. No blisters guaranteed. So um, that's probably good if it's if it's real. Uh, so I got these two new pairs of socks. I'll take them out of there. Huh. Yeah, these are smaller around the ankle, which is nice. So I'll probably wear these smart wool hiking socks. Yeah, they got like nice cushiony bottoms and they look cool. So, so I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna wear one sports bra. I might wear this skirt. I love this skirt. It's awesome. It's got pockets and, and it's so comfy. It's got spandex under here. For shirts, I'll probably wear this one. And then I'm gonna bring this long sleeve shirt. They're both from Lululemon. They're both this silver essent uh, fabric. So they don't smell when you sweat in them, which is, the best case scenario. And then the bathing suit goes in this smaller one. Stuff it all in there. This will be all my like workout clothes. I'll have a toque, 
and my pajamas. So I just brought a t-shirt and these light shorts. So there's that and that. I have one more, this big one, which I'll probably just shove in all my jackets. I have this fleece from Mountain Warehouse. And then I have my rain jacket, this rain jacket. I'm gonna bring this little tank top just as an extra one. Best part about these little things is you zip them up and they get compressed even more. If you can't tell, love things that compress. There's the jackets. And we got my bathing suit, or my underwears and socks, and my bathing suit. And so for shoes, these are new, actually. New since my last video. And they're the plastic Burks, and these are the best things ever. I love them when I'm camping because they're plastic, you can wear them in the water. They're not gonna wreck, they're light. They're so light. And I like this style the best for camping, especially because you can wear socks in there. So you don't need to worry about getting wet. I'm gonna attach these to the outside of the bag. And then my hiking shoes. So these ones aren't new. I talked about them last time. They're the Vasque. I, I wore these last time and they were great. I did get a huge ass blister, but that was because it was the first time wearing them, so. So let's talk about food. These things, these are my favorite things for backpacking and hiking because they're lightweight, they're small, all you need to do is add water, and they taste amazing. So I got the fettuccine alfredo with chicken, and I also got three cheese, or yeah, three cheese macaroni and cheese. So these really recommend. For breakfast, I'm bringing oatmeal, per usual. And then I'm bringing three Hornby bars. They're the chocolate chip and peanut butter flavor. They're dairy-free, soy-free, and gluten-free. They're local to where I live, so there's an island called Hornby Island, and that's where they're from. Yeah, Hornby Island. It's just off Vancouver Island, where I live, so. Local bars, they're amazing. And then, okay, so I got these two little gel energy packets. So you just eat them, probably when we're hiking we'll eat them. And then I'm so excited because I've never tried this. It is creme brulee. I am so excited. Yeah, I'm like just so intrigued at how this is gonna turn out. So if you're interested to see how this turns out, just watch the vlog. I'm sure I will be vlogging this. So that's the food I have now. I still have to get a couple things, like I'm gonna get trail mix, fishy crackers, maybe some apples and a bagel for lunch. Hi Josie, hello. You wanna come hang out? Toiletries, let's do that quickly. This is a seed to summon. I guess this is new. I got this for Christmas as well. I got my toothbrush, contact solution, cleanser, toothpaste, contact container, deodorant, sunscreen. I got my glasses. I was re-watching my old video and in that video I was like, oh, glasses. Like, I don't know if I'll need, I don't really need to bring these, but I guess I will. And I was looking back, I was like, that is so dumb. What if one of my contacts fell out? I should be bringing extra contacts. That's what I should be doing. But what if a contact fell out? Like, I would be screwed. So I need to bring these. And I'm bringing my sunglasses as well. My Sea to Summit bag. Okay, so for camera gear, I'm gonna bring my GoPro. GoPro Hero 9. I have this little case from the GoPro that I'm probably just gonna keep all my camera stuff in. Got my ND filter for that camera. It's on the camera right now, so this is the case for it. Um, and then I just have put my batteries in there. I'll put everything in there for the cameras. And there's still a bit of room in there. And then I got my charger, so I got my Apple Watch charger, and because you obviously got to track those steps. <laughs> and then I got my iPhone charger. And then I recently got this portable charger. There's my camera gear. Oh, this is new. So Shayla got me this for Christmas. It's the Peak Design camera clip. So you put, you attach this to the bottom of your camera, and then you can just slide it in here, and it'll attach. It attaches to the strap of your backpack. So then you have your camera just here. It's easy access. You don't need to worry about it falling or anything. So this is great. This is a great present. And then there's my little Gorilla Pod. Was super helpful last time. Is that everything? All right, well, let's pack this. Let's pack it up. There's a little sack to 
put that in there. It comes out the other side. So that's, that goes there. And then apparently there's this thing here that you strap in up here. Put that on this little strap thing and it'll just stay attached. That's so nice. So put those two in there. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Bringing my wandered uh, Veer backpack. It's a packable day pack. You guys have seen me talk about this probably 10 times by now. Packs up super small. I just attach it to the outside of my bag um, with a clip and it comes with this inflatable camera cube. So this is what I put my camera in when I'm like putting it in my ba bag or whatever. Um, last time I attached it to my waist strap and just had my camera in there, which was also handy. So, so yeah, it just packs up into that with a little clip, so I just clip it to the outside. Toiletries. Oh, here. Get in there. And, and then attach it there. So all that fits in here Ugh. with a bit of extra space even. I guess space for my tent. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you guys like this style of video. I really enjoyed playing with this new microphone and having two cameras. It's actually awesome. But anyways, my dad's coming outside, so. Get off of my lawn! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm done. Good talking.